Okay, I've decided that I don't like this ramp. I mean, I want it here. It's just that it doesn't make sense. This this um that it that it would be like this. I would think that they would want an ability to to roll things down there. So I'm going to change this particular solid. I'm going to vertex manipulate it first of all. Let's straighten that out. Now this guy, Control F, and make another face. Change my snapping grid to eight. There. So now it's it's got a little bit more harmony here. You know, you could kind of think that guys would be able to walk around here, but. Something else I should mention about Alien Swarm. It seals everything in, as I told you, with a structure seal. I have to make this bigger, by the way. What it does is it turns all of the brushes inside the world into funk details. Now experienced level designers will know what I'm talking about. I want to get rid of sky. There's no point in having. Well, actually, no. Let's. There is one sky that I do want, and that's the. Uh, I might have a sky effect from the ceiling. There might be like light coming down through manhole covers or whatever. Maybe I don't know. I might turn that to black later. Anyway, so I was saying that we turned all the brushes into funk details. What that means is it's going to render everything that you've got textured including this back stuff here. I don't want that. That's wasted space. So, I'm going to do something to make that more efficient. I'm going to cut you in half. And this piece here, I'm going to lift. Yes. And then, I'm, I'm going to you like so now the only thing the only s surface here that's being rendered is this and that makes things it's less efficient to be rendering I'm rendering this but for what reason the player can't see it anyway so I'm going to change the other side to conform with that and I'll change I will cut these down so that underneath here you can't well that face isn't being rendered as well. 